What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing positional previews for the New York Giants and today we're going to start off with the quarterbacks and I'm going to be recording the running backs and wide receivers and they will go up on Saturday and Sunday respectively. I'm going to try to go um, over all the positions every single day, at least one position every day and um, yeah we'll go on from there and then we should get into coverage of the OTAs so, which start May 22nd for the Giants. So, we'll start off with the quarterbacks. The Giants currently have four quarterbacks on the roster. That is quarterback Eli Manning. That is quarterback Geno Smith. Uh, third round pick Davis Webb. And Josh Johnson, who backed up for us last year. And uh, was you know rotating spots with Ryan Nassib and himself for that backup role. Uh, so, we look at these quarterbacks here. Eli Manning. Coming off of a you know, a you know not a very good year, especially with the P offensive pieces that we had, we just couldn't get things going. After a great season he had two years ago, um, he definitely slumped out this year. And we're hoping he comes back. We got Evan Ingram. Um, you know we're hoping to get this running back situation settled. The wide receiver situation is much better, and hopefully the O line situation gets better. Uh, Eric Flowers says it, saying that he's coming back better than ever. And we heard that before, but he said he did slim down a little bit. I think he said that. And then I hear the coaches saying that he's more focused than ever uh, and that he looks better when he's working. So, um, you know, right now we just got to take that with a grain of salt. And we'll talk about that when the time gets there. But for right now, we're talking about Eli Manning and the other quarterbacks on the roster. And not much to say about Eli Manning. So let's move on. He's obviously our starter, has not missed a start in a while. Could happen this, this year that he misses one, but God forbid. So, uh, by the way, if I didn't say this before, I apologize. If you hear the rain in the background, it's raining where I live. So, and I apologize for the bad lighting because I used my window as light and it's kind of dark outside. So, um, moving on to Geno Smith. And a lot of people are, are very upset about the signing of Geno Smith. I don't understand why. You get a former starting quarterback as your backup you can't get any better than that. You act like Ryan Nassib was any better than Geno Smith. And Geno Smith is three times the player Ryan Nassib will be. So, and then another thing, you know, we signed him for, I don't know how much it was. What was it, like a, a million dollars, a $1.5 million or close to $2 million? I mean, that's fine. That's a decent backup. He's an experienced player. You know, he's going to want that much. And I don't even think we guaranteed him any money, if that, if like under a million dollars. So nobody should be upset about this signing of us getting Geno Smith because it's not like we wasted, you know, we busted the bank to get a, a backup quarterback because we didn't. We actually got it for a good price. And he is a decent, you know, security blanket for us just in case Eli were to go down. Um, so moving on, Geno Smith is, you know, good signing. He should be our backup. Uh, we're going to get into Davis Webb right now, our third round pick, Davis Webb. Should he be the backup instead of Geno Smith? I think not, because should the situation happen with Eli Manning, he goes down. Davis Webb, he has a lot of potential as a quarterback in the NFL, but he's just not there yet. I think everybody knows that, and I don't think there should be a question that Geno Smith you know, should prove himself to be that backup quarterback. Should Eli go down, he steps in. And should Geno Smith have to start some games, you know, which we haven't seen in a while, uh, you know, since 2004, Eli Manning has been the starter. But should that situation happen, Geno Smith, you know, is a no-brainer. He should be the starter. So, yeah, we got Davis Webb. He's just going to be developmental at, at this point. I hope he, you know, should we blow out a team, then Davis Webb should come in and get some reps in. But, you know, till then, it's smart enough not to play him whenever, you know, if we don't need him, then don't play him. So Josh Johnson, he's kind of the outcast in this situation. I don't think he's going to make the roster. The Giants in no way are going to keep four quarterbacks on the roster. And he's a little too old to be on the practice squad. The guy's 30 years old, hasn't proved himself in the league. Uh, he did all right with us last year uh, in the preseason. Did decent, nothing spectacular. So I could see us cutting him. You know, it's a good situation to have. You know, we have Geno Smith and Davis Webb. Those are... You know, Geno Smith is a good backup, and then we got Davis Webb, who should be, you know, the heir, you know, to the quarterback position of the New York Giants. So it's not a bad situation to have. So uh, at the end of these videos, I'm gonna make a unofficial depth chart 
I'm gonna tell you who's gonna be on the roster and in what order and then I'm gonna tell you who's gonna be cut from the roster and I'll leave all that in the description below so you guys can check that out as soon as the video starts so obviously number one we've got Eli Manning number two we've got Geno Smith number three we got Davis Webb and the odd one out Josh Johnson he will be cut from the New York Giants I don't see him staying on the roster I don't see him being Geno Smith because there's no way you know, Davis Webb is not going to make the roster. I don't care if he throws five interceptions a game in the preseason. I don't think he, they're going to cut him for the roster just yet. So, or even put him on the practice squad. I and mean, He's the third round pick. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. As far as the quarterbacks go, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And you guys are going to either see wide receivers or running backs tomorrow. See you guys then.